Hello and welcome to today's video. This is my last minute bookish gift guide video. I'm doing this at Christmas time. Obviously all of these gifts are great ideas for all year round, not just for Christmas. And yet these are just last minute gift ideas that you can kind of get within a day or two and give to a bookish friend, a book lover, a book reader, all those things. Uh, yeah, these are just bookish gift ideas that like I'm away you could get very quickly so can work so yeah um this is the video I did do earlier in December a small business bookish gift idea video so I'll link that up above because uh, obviously if you are watching this and you do have more time than a few days these are also great ideas but yeah let's get into the last minute bookish gift ideas and I'll kind of give you a brief summary what they are how quickly you're likely to get them. Let's get into it. Idea number one is a book light. This is mine. I'm really happy with it. It's got three light settings, this one. Um, I think if I if this one ever breaks, I'll get one that's dimmable as well. But yeah, this is rechargeable. You just plug it in. It's a bookish light. Um, and yeah, you can get these from Amazon or you can buy them in like any bookshop. Most bookshops will sell like book lights. And it's literally overnight time. You know, the lights are off. You clip it onto your book. You turn the light on and you can read your pages. That's as simple as it is. Um, so yeah. I think these are a great gift and a great idea and it's something that like you don't always think of getting for yourself so giving it to a friend is really great. You can get these for a large variety of prices as well starting at about £5 going up to about £20 depending on what you want out of the light and not only can you buy these from bookshops if you you know live within distance of a bookshop you can go and get it you can also get them on amazon which means you can get them next working day and that is what makes them so like accessible and such a great like last minute idea so yeah gift idea number one a book light then gift idea number two is a gift card to a local bookshop so whatever bookshops the person the gift receiver has close to them get a gift card for it these can be small independent bookshops if you go into them they often have gift cards in them or it can be a waterstones and if you, if this doesn't seem like something that's easy for you to do on waterstones i know you can do it on their website and give like a virtual gift card as well it like comes through to the person as an email so yeah i think a bookish gift card like for a bookshop great idea then the person can go and get more books which is what every book lover wants then number three is a cool one i actually haven't purchased any yet myself but in the new year i'm planning on like setting up this corner that you can't really see on the camera but like this corner here i'm planning on setting up and this is printable bookish art so for this one you do need a printer or access to like a printing service i guess but yeah on etsy especially you can search like printable art and so so much comes up if the person you buy for has a favorite series or a favorite author you can find like quotes and stuff from them if the person has a favorite genre you can find like inspired stuff for a certain genre or you can just find like generic bookish art print it out for them there it is uh, you can even get a frame if you're organized enough but i think literally you know this piece of art print it out there you go and obviously it's pretty instant as long as you have access to a printer or a printing service you know once you've ordered it it gets sent straight to your email like via like say if you did it through etsy it would be via etsy get straight to your email and then you're done so yeah i think it's a really cool idea and i'm definitely going to be getting some for myself in the new year that's what gave me the idea of including it in this list then the next gift idea is sticky tabs so I like to annotate some of my books, a lot of people do, even if people don't write in books I feel like tabs are such a cool way to personalise them, such a cool way to like figure out what you thought, what you want to look back at. So yeah these are the standard ones that I use like day to day, you can buy them in about a pack of a thousand for about £8 from Amazon. So these are like the standard ones that I use but obviously there's not that many many like in terms of colour variation so you can also get loads of different like bigger packs as well there's a few more in this one um this one has dots but you can literally get so many if you just search like sticky tabs on amazon or on whatever like shopping website you do i've even seen these sold in like wh smith in tesco so you can definitely get them from like a large variety of places super quickly 
either going in person or ordering for next day delivery and yeah sticky tabs great idea really good you can never have enough of like a back stock i probably have about six of these at the moment if i receive any sticky tabs for christmas i'll still be very happy with them like they will get used at some point when i'm super invested in a book so that's those then the next gift is a bit of a splurge like it's not massively but it's pens and they're about 15 pound a pack i do think if you could have like cool, cool stationery stores near you can get them like individually but yeah for a five pack of zebra mild liners on amazon you're talking about 15 pound i have 10 here like i have brought two packs over the last year I can't remember what colours are in what pack but you know I've got quite a variety of colours by just doing two packs really really happy with them really like them these are great for annotating your books because the way they work they're they are essentially on one side they're a highlighter and on the other side they're more of like a tip and they, they just don't go through the pages I'm yet to use them in a book and have them be visible from the other side of the page which a lot of highlighters that i was using before i got these you could sometimes see them which is fine and then like a load of people use highlighters but eventually i did splurge and get myself a couple of packs of these to use so yeah i think that's a really cool gift especially because you know like you can get a pack of highlighters for a pain from like painland so i think it's not something that you always think you're getting like the really nice pens to annotate and highlight so yeah if the person that you're buying for likes to like write in their books highlight their books i think these are absolutely great they are the best pens i've found so far basically um i've tried quite a few different ones they're the best i've found so far so yeah i would highly recommend and again you can get them from amazon i've seen them in tesco wh smith i think i've actually seen these in waterstones before but you can also find them in like other stationery stores as well so yeah really happy with these then the next one is more for if the person you're buying for likes to listen to audiobooks as well and that is headphones like these are mine they are dead right now but i have these really nice headphones that i use i also have a pair of like earphones as well so like headphones or earphones i just think it can be a really good gift especially if they're like comfy ones if they've got a bit of like a bounce to them because for me i often listen to audiobooks in bed like to fall asleep and stuff or um i listen to them when at the gym so having a really comfy set of like headphones or earphones to you know listen through i think can be a really cool gift and when you think of someone who reads loads of books you don't always think of audiobooks if you're not a reader yourself so yeah i feel like headphones earphones can be a really cool gift to give especially if it's someone that you want to get like quite a nice present for like you know there's such a range of prices in he headphones and earphones like i don't even know like what price range to give you could be talking five pounds you could be talking a hundred pounds i guess like or probably more but yeah you can really get some really nice ones so i think that's a cool idea but yeah you can get them from loads of places you can get them from amazon you can get them from like argos you can do click and collect where they're available in a few hours and you can get them from like loads of other stores like that hmv um curries loads of stuff that you can literally if they've got the stock in the local one by you you can just go and get it so yeah i think that's a really decent idea then the next one i'll have to put an image in but this is a bookish jigsaw so basically you can get loads of different kinds of these the image i'm putting in here is like a specific one that i want uh that i've asked for for christmas myself that's why i think it's a great last minute idea because like you can get it from amazon and like i want it so I'm a bookish person maybe he's like your bookish person wants it too but yeah so the one up here is actually like a jigsaw with like bookish prompts in so for instance there's like the hungry caterpillar and you like find it in the jigsaw and like that's the book and you have to when you've made the jigsaw there's then like another puzzle on top of that and like figuring out all the book prompts that are in it um but yeah there's loads of different bookish jigsaws you can get them like just in bookstores you can get them as shelves you can get them with like cats in dogs in all sorts um if you search like bookish jigsaw on your preferred website you'll find loads and i think they're a really cool idea i like to do jigsaws and doing audiobooks but i also just like doing jigsaws to like relax and have fun outside of reading uh, but still making it bookish is a really cool idea and i think that it's a really cool gift option okay so then the next one is another puzzle type one and this is the Auden survey puzzle book i'll put an image here but then i'll also put a video in here i did a little flip through basically i've purchased this this year i don't think jay will watch this but essentially i've purchased this for jay this year my boyfriend so he will be getting that for christmas uh, so i did take a video of like a flip through before i wrapped it up but yeah this is so cool like it's a puzzle book but like you get a map 
and then you have to answer questions about like what you can locate and what you can get out of the map and there's like different difficulties I think there's like an easy, easy medium and hard like difficulty for questions for every map as well so yeah I think it's a really cool gift idea and like a really fun one as well it's like a bit out there it's not really something that I really thought of and then last but certainly not least the final easy to get bookish gift is a book you can get this from any bookstore, you can get this from Amazon, you can get this from WH Smith, Waterstones, uh, you can go to the supermarket and buy a book. You can literally buy books almost anywhere nowadays and I think they make really cool gifts. If you know what genre your person reads, get something in that genre. You can also look at like the Goodreads Choice Awards, you could look at like books that have got like award stickers on them, all sorts. But I just think getting someone a book or even a book that you've enjoyed and like want to give them because you've enjoyed it I just think it's a really cool gift and like yeah you can get it last minute no problem so yeah any book that you wish any book that is good for the person get it so yeah that is all of my last minute gift ideas as I said earlier I did do a small business gift idea as well so if you're not in a rush that will also be linked down below so yeah but hopefully one of those or some of those helped you out here I really do hope that you enjoyed the video Please do give it a like if you like it, subscribe down below if you'd like to see more content like this and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!